Manchester United closing in on £43 million deal for Andre Anana after Eric Ten Hag requests signing. Manchester United have made a concrete move for inter goalkeeper Andre Anana and are hoping to secure a £43 million deal, according to reports in Italy. The Red Devils are looking to bring in a new number one this summer with David de Gea's future at Old Trafford hanging in the balance. Although the Spaniard has been offered a new deal on greatly reduced terms, which he had been expected to sign, he is still yet to put pen to paper and now has a vastly more lucrative offer from Saudi Arabia. De Gea is also aware that United want to bring in a new keeper even if he does extend his stay, with his status as the club's number one no longer assured. Manager Eric Ten Hag is eager to bring in a more modern goalkeeper who has better distribution, with the Dutchman's football philosophy reliant on a keeper who can play out from the back. United had been linked with the likes of Brentford's David Rare and Porto shot stopper Diogo Costa, but now Italian outlet Sport Mediaset are claiming a move for an honour is advancing. Brentford had been demanding £40 million for Rare even though he only has one year left on his contract, while Porto want Costa's £64.5 million release clause to be paid in full. Inter are much more open to selling an honour and feel he is the ideal player to cash in on, having arrived at the club a year ago on a free transfer, which means any sale will be pure profit and ideal from a financial fair play perspective. According to the report, United are ready to put up an offer worth the £43 million plus bonuses that Inter are demanding and the deal is being driven by Ten Hag. The Dutchman is eager to be reunited with Anana, who he managed at Ajax, and has decided he is the ideal number one. Contact has already been made with the Cameroonian's entourage and he is open to the switch and keen to work under Ten Hag again. Chelsea have also been interested in Anana but have made little progress in talks over the past few weeks and there are suggestions they may now be trying to prize Costa from Porto instead. Ten Hag's high opinion of Anana is said to have been crucial to United's hierarchy accelerating their push for a deal with Inter and the 27-year-old is seen as the perfect fit given his outstanding distribution and composure on the ball. Eric Ten Hag considers shock decision over Manchester United's iconic number no. 7 shirt. Manchester United are considering making a controversial decision over how will inherit the club's iconic number no. 7 shirt. Last worn by Cristiano Ronaldo before his acrimonious departure from the club in January, United left the squad number no. vacant for the remainder of last season. Rather than hand the famous jersey to a new summer signing, however, United are, according to the men, given thought to promoting youngster Alejandro Garnacho and bestowing him with the honour of wearing the number worn by the likes of Brian Robson, Eric Cantona and David Beckham. The 18-year-old made his debut just over 12 months ago and made a significant breakthrough under Eric Ten Hag last season. Garnacho's club exploits have been rewarded with recognition at senior international level and he made his first appearance for Argentina against Australia earlier this month. Such is the teenager's reputation that Real Madrid were contemplating making an audacious move for him last year when his long-term future was a matter of conjecture. The Madrid-born winger put that speculation to bed by signing a new contract in April and pledging his commitment to the Premier League giants. When I joined this incredible club, I dreamt of achieving my debut, playing at Old Trafford, scoring my first goal and winning trophies with this badge on my chest, he said at the time. I feel very proud and emotional to have experienced these moments already, together with my family who have supported me every step of the way. We are all humbled to have this chance to continue our journey at Manchester United and I have already begun to work on achieving the next set of targets and ambitions. The manager and his coaching staff have helped me to improve in every way, and with their support, I am developing each day to help the team to be successful. I am relishing the future and can't wait to create more special memories with this group, in front of our amazing supporters. Lisandro Martinez says he is 100% back and ready for Manchester United pre-season training. Manchester United defender Lisandro Martinez has provided an update on his injury recovery and says he is 100% back and ready to take a full part in pre-season training next month. 
The Argentina international missed the end of the 2022-23 campaign after fracturing a metatarsal bone in his foot in the first leg of United's Europa League quarter-final defeat to Sevilla in April. There had been fears the injury could disrupt Martinez's preparations for next season, but he has been gradually stepping up his recovery during the off-season. Last week, the 25-year-old posted a photo from a gym session with one of United's club physios saying he was getting closer, and now he has started ball work again. On Saturday, Martinez uploaded a clip of him running and kicking a ball in United training garb before later tweeting, so happy to be back 100% alongside a flexing muscle emoji. United's players are expected to report back to Carrington to begin pre-season training in early July. Martinez has been putting in the work to ensure he returns as close to full fitness as possible ahead of the club's pre-season tour of the USA. The Red Devils have two friendlies against Leeds and Lyon in Norway and Scotland respectively before jetting out to the USA for four high-profile friendlies against Arsenal, Wrexham, Real Madrid and Borussia Dortmund. United have one more friendly when they return against Athletic Bilbao in Dublin before their Premier League campaign kicks off against Wolves on 14 August. With seven friendlies to play before that game, Martinez will have plenty of time to get back up to full speed after two months on the sidelines. Martinez enjoyed an excellent debut season in England despite some early reservations about his lack of height, but he quickly silenced his critics with a string of superb defensive displays. Former United player Daily Blind, who also made the switch from Amsterdam to Manchester, was glowing about Martinez on the UTD podcast recently, saying, he is a great centre-back. He is so aggressive, he's really good with his feet, he's really good at tackling. You cannot write him off just because he's maybe not the height you expect him to be. But I think he showed himself directly that he is capable of everything in the Premier League.
Halo guys Kita akan mencari Sebuah Penampakan Di siang hari Kemarin kita mendapat Satu jepretan Sebuah penampakan Di tempat ini Walaupun siang hari Kadang Suka ada yang dongol guys Tunggu sebentar Paket dua, apa itu? Kira penampakan ternyata orang yang sedang senyum. Oke okay, guys, sabar ya. Di sini nih guys, siang-siang kadang muncul sekelebatan seperti orang yang mau lewat. Lalu teman-teman yang punya ilmu indigo atau ilmu spiritual bisa dilihat langsung apa yang kelihatan di lokasi ini di sini itu auranya sangat sedikit blending blending banget guys apalagi kalau malam ya nah. Kalau sudah ada yang melihat sekelebatan belum pemirsa pasti pasti untuk para pecinta channel kami mohon di like dan komentar ya biar kita sering dapat penampakan penampakan ya apakah sudah ada yang melihat untuk para ahlinya ahli melihat ruang gaib tiba-tiba kamera kita ngeblur sendiri guys itu tandanya ada gesekan energi negatif dan positif tuh tiba-tiba goyang dengan guru sendiri pasti dan hawanya pun sedikit ada angin-angin silir-silir gitu dia kameranya itu autofokusnya kira sendiri saya terus terang udah nggak kuat pasti untuk suasananya karena kaki saya udah pegel ya 